All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave his web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground. Avoid it at all costs. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oliveira gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And they separate. Oh, collar tie. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of ball. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh. Just over three minutes to go now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. 25 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond for you. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. And there comes the separation now. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh! They're going at it now. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Poirier gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oliveira's hook shot is blocked. DC, he is officially rushed. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Nice punch there by Poirier. Five minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he... All right, here we go now, round two. Ready? Charles Dubronx Oliver versus Dustin Poirier. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the mid. And he eats a right hand there. Oh! Oh! Poirier's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line and watch the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Watch right, so the numbers continue to pile up. 71 total strikes have landed for Dustin Poirier. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! And we got a fight on our hands. Well, he's really 
really picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, right under the elbow, right on the perfect. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that point. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots and get blocked. So just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Gets up again here, but Hurton. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hard. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, Rivera's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now. with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing not panicking because he's getting choked. And he's out. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Hammer fist here by Poirier. Good solid strike on the ground. having his way with him here. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Nice punch there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. That strike over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think you're going low over the top, right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, fades upstairs and lands first to me. Nice loop and punch. Well, 
Oh, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, nice hook by Poirier. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one. Oh. Oh. so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, we take a look back at the replay, and not every day you see a fight end due to a body kick like that. That was a massive body kick snuck it right under the elbow. Once it landed, you knew the fight was about to be finished. So a big win for him here tonight and a big statement made with that TK.